I'm going to see how fast I could get from 0 to 100k in Retail Tycoon 2. So let's find out. Let's first make a new store. Okay, so over here is our store. It's very nice and big. I don't like the color though, so I'm going to just change it quickly. Let's also change the name too, just like that. So right now, what I'm going to actually do is remove some of the stuff we don't need, like these extra walls. It won't affect the customers. Those walls and lights are simply just there to make the store look better. And deleting them will give us a lot more money. And now, we already have $15,000. The next thing I'm going to do is put some shelves. I'm going to put a cash register over here. And I'm going to put some furniture shelves because furniture can make you a lot of money. And since we're selling furniture, I'm going to need a bigger truck. So let's go to the dealership. This is our cheap truck and it only holds three pieces of furniture. So I'm going to buy this nice van. It costs a lot of money, but it can hold seven pieces of furniture. Now let's actually buy the furniture. Yeah, let's do 20. Now I'm going to drive back and unload my stuff. And now that we somehow only have $500 left, we're ready to open our store. I just need to quickly stock the shelves. And for some reason, I have an extra, so I'm just going to delete that one. And now we're ready. So let's wait for our first customer. After waiting a while, they just left because they probably did not have enough money. The furniture cost $400. Some more people came in and I started realizing that nobody had money. So I knew exactly what I needed to do. So I hired a money guy. They give people money. I also added some more parking and removed the walls for some more money. Now that we're set, let's see how this works. I kept going to get more furniture and coming back and I realized I did not make any money. I only got something stolen from me. I also did not like how I had to drive back and forth. So I had a truck driver and gave him my truck. Okay, so I just realized that if you switch your grass out for there, you get more money. So I'm gonna do that. Here. Here. Over here. Over here. And that got me like 3,000 more dollars. I bought some more furniture with that. And I saw some robbers too. And with that, day one was complete. We lost $2,000. Now that it's a new day, I placed a storage shelf and I hired a restocker to do my job. Things were starting to get easier, but then I realized some guy was watching me. I didn't really know who that guy was. He was just kind of there, so I ignored it. But then he switched spots. I put some metal detectors to make sure he don't do the gritty all over my store. And I also put a security camera to help with that. I noticed my store had a bad level of decoration, so I put a ball next to this desk. I checked back on the guy and he was still there. I didn't even know what he was up to, but on the bright side, I put a water fountain. Made my store have a much better decoration level, but I again realized that people are still way too poor. So I knew exactly what I needed to do. If you're still watching, if we get 50 likes, I will do this to $1 million. So like the video and subscribe and let's get back to it. So I waited for 10 minutes. And I put another finance desk over here so more people can come get money. I also put those roof edges as walls and put a door so the guy can come in. And for the rest, I just drained my money more furniture. I put a roof and now I had zero dollars again. But at least my store was set up and I could just sit back and relax. We finally hit the one hour mark. And I had made nearly $8,000. Life was going great. And my money guys were giving out money. I had many customers in my store. And I also had many workers helping me out. I used most of my money for buying more furnitures. And later I realized that my truck's not big enough. My customers were buying a lot. And my truck needed to be bigger. So I went to the dealership and sold my van for only $3,000. And I bought a $10,000 van. It can hold 11 pieces of furniture and I gave it to my truck driver. I then went back to the store for my own car. I got back and I drained more of my money. It's day seven. I screwed up badly. I didn't buy a big enough truck. So this whole time I had to drive my own truck and deliver furniture. But at least I have almost 40K. My store was looking good. I had added more parking for more customers. 
I can sit back and relax now. Okay, so I just decided to remove my parking spaces because the furniture is being sold way too fast. After two hours, I was finally so close. I was about to hit 100K. And with one more sale, we finally did it. My life was completed and everything was great. I destroyed my whole store, but don't worry because I'm gonna build a much, much better one with all my money. And with my whole store finally completed, which looked great. I bought a new truck and loaded it with lots of goods. I came back and stocked my store up and I had finally completed my mission. It only took two hours and I, I don't know if that's a lot, maybe it is. Make sure to subscribe. Also, if you like the store, I have a tutorial for on my channel, so make sure you go check it out. And yeah, yeah, yeah.